There is no remedy for love but to love more. Henry David Thoreau Hey everyone, it's Therese here with School for Spirit. And today I want to give you a little quiz to show you how you show affection. No two people in this world are exactly alike. And so therefore, no two people will express love in exactly the same way. And it's important that you understand and recognize your own unique expressions of love, which will help you notice and recognize how others are giving their love to you every day. Grab a pen and paper and let's take this affection and love quiz. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. For each question, choose two answers that sound like actions you'd most commonly take. Question number one. In this scenario, your mom's had a rough week and now she's feeling sick. Do you A. Pick or purchase a bunch of flowers to put in a vase next to her bed. B. Sit on her bed next to her and sympathize with the hard time she's having. C. Volunteer to cook dinner and make sure she gets to rest, or D, fluff her pillows and tuck her in to make sure that she is cozy. Question two, your friend has a big meeting coming up next week and she's nervous. Do you A, take her out one night to do something fun to take her mind off things? B, let her talk about her stress and give her ideas on how to get ready. C, create a scenario where she can practice doing her meeting. Or D, give her a big hug and tell her not to worry because it's all going to be okay. Question three, a good friend has lost a close relative and she's grieving. Do you A, help her get together old photos and keepsakes to remember the good times? B, listen to her supportively and share your own memories of the person with her. C, offer to do things for her so she can focus on her family. Or D, Let her cry on your shoulder and be ready with a hug when she needs one. Question four. Your daughter has found out she's been offered the starring role in the school play. Do you A, buy her balloons and take her out to dinner to celebrate the good news? B, tell her sincerely how proud you are of her and can't wait to see the show. B, ask her if she wants you to help her learn her lines. Or D, grab her hands, jump up and down for joy, and scream with excitement. Question five. It's Valentine's Day, and you've been with someone special for a few months. Do you A, give roses, chocolates, and presents you know they'll like? B, choose this moment to tell them how you feel, maybe even say the words, I love you. C, ask them to share their feelings about the relationship with you, or D, surprise them at the front door with a passionate kiss. Ready to find out what your affectionate type is? Tally up your answers and listen up. If you answered mostly A's, you are known as the giver. And doing something for someone, whether it's giving them a present or giving them your time, is what truly means something to you. It's not necessarily about the money or the things themselves. It's about giving your time and attention to another person and thinking about what will make them happy. If you answered mostly B's, then you're the speaker. For you, nothing should ever go without saying. It should get said clearly and plainly because you care about a person. So why not tell them? You're a communicator and you want your love for someone to be like an open book, easily readable. It's words for you that are the window to your soul, and you like them to flow freely. If you answered mostly C's, then you're the provider. You love making sure that a person is okay, because if you love someone, you care about their well-being. You want to be strong for you and your loved one and make sure that they have everything they need. The best gift you can give is the feeling of being safe and secure. If you answered mostly D's, you're the hugger. For you, the physical comfort of a safe, kind touch is where love speaks the loudest. It doesn't mean that you're uncomfortable using words. In fact, if you can express yourself physically, you're probably very comfortable expressing yourself in general. But for you, words alone aren't enough. You like to be affectionate with the people that you truly care about. 
after taking this quiz, I'm sure you realize that there are multiple ways that you show affection. And it's not about breaking it down to one type, but rather recognizing your instinctual reaction to a situation and how you show affection. The next step in this process is to simply recognize that we each have our own ways of showing affection. And so if someone gives you affection in a way that you wouldn't typically give affection, recognize they just have a different approach to affection than you. Ready to take your intuition from awakened to activated? Visit schoolforspirit.gr8.com.